Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge. Okay, so the last time we left off, it was uh, pretty crazy. Unfortunately, we lost both Spearmint and Mr. Fabulous. It was really heartbreaking and it was really rough on Crimson. He ended up... Okay, you two. Okay. <laughs> He ended up proposing to Ellie because he did promise her that he wanted to definitely take on that role of, you know, being the man of the house now since his father is gone. And he felt the pressure to reunite the family by bringing them closer together, which he felt like marrying Ellie would do that. And so now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we're in a new house. So this is the house that I built for Crimson. And originally, I did not have a room for Carmine, so I had to fix that up. And also, I figured they would move here when Honey was a child. So her room is kind of set up in a way where it would be for a child. But I did add some toddler stuff in there so that she would be able to have her potty and her bed so i went ahead and did that so it is in brightchester so i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick little tour but as you can see it's raining it's pretty gloomy but we are here in our new home so this is the home that i built for crimson it is pretty spectacular if i do say so myself maybe i'm just bragging but yeah, I love it. It is red. And I don't know why it just gives me like just the red just gives me Clifford the Big Red Dog vibes, even though I know I said that for raspberry. But oh, my gosh, it just it just does. I don't know. I did try to make it a little bit like I don't know. I want to say regal, but it's not really regal. I wouldn't know how to explain it. Presidential, I guess, like cleaned up. I don't know how I would describe it, but just like you know, like a cleaned up look. I really like it. I think it really suits the house. Don't mind this here. I don't know why this is clipping really badly, but it is. So let's just ignore that for a little bit, even though I just pointed it out. So this is the back of the house. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I want to put a swing set out here for Honey. So when she gets older, she has like a little swing set here. But I might just wait to purchase that. We did get a bit of money from Spearmint and Mr. Fabulous passing away. So when I moved them out, they did get some money. I'll say that money is from them selling the house. So they were able to get this house. Yeah, this is the outside. I think it's pretty cute. Pretty homey. And I'm going to go ahead and take you guys inside. Don't mind me with my camera angles. I told you guys I'm horrible at camera angles. I just, I, I can't do them. I'm not, I'm not a professional, you know, um, home tour YouTuber. Like I just, <laughs> you know, I just try to show you guys the best that I can, but I'm horrible with my camera angles. So this is the entrance area. So they have a little piano here, a little sculpture, you know, a little fancy, fancy got the steps going upstairs to the bedrooms which i'm going to show you guys in a little bit now i didn't bring the photos from spearman's house because i wanted this house to have the photos of just crimson's family because i i do that with all my sims with every household that i play with i just leave that generation's photos in there so that if i go back to the house i can see the photos so i'm going to start a new wall of photos of them in here and this is the bed for raspberry and here we got the kitchen which they're kind of sitting in already i don't know how i feel about the kitchen i mean the red is nice i like the cabinets down here but i don't know about these parts because it has pink on it but i was like you know what i'm gonna roll with it because it's not too big of a deal here's the dining area now i did use some custom content i didn't like a lot of the things that i saw in build mode well that fit the aesthetic of the red with the white and in here we have the living room so this whole area here was the living room but i had to make a bedroom for carmine as i said so the living room is pretty small now but i mean they're not really going to spend much time in here but this is the living room they have the nice big tv a little fire pit right here the couch 
I thought this was really cute. Got a little statue here, some more books. And then in here is Carmine's room. I thought this was really cute for Carmine because it has like, it gives me like teen vibes in here with the cute little bed and then the lights above her bed. She got her laptop over here. And then we have like a little seating area and like just some, you know, stuff that she would post on the wall. And then she got a nice cute mirror. Did she get her dresser? And I absolutely love this rug. This is custom content, but it's like a giant heart. And I was just like, I need to put this in here, especially because her bed has hearts. So I thought that was really cute. And then when you come upstairs, they have this giant wall with just books. And then right here, I just downloaded this. I am going to do a review on it. This is for Honey. And I thought this was really cute. And then coming into this room that Crimson is coming into this. Oh, Carmine, girl. You got your own damn bed. She just wants to be in her room because I'm not going to lie. I think Honey has the second biggest room. Oh, she's in her bed. She's asleep. Oh, what a cutie. So, yeah, this is Honey's room and holy yellow. It is bright. Um, Yeah, I wasn't expecting Honey to be a toddler, but we're rolling with it. So this is her room. I thought this was so cute. Look at the clouds with the stars. Oh, my goodness. I cannot. That's adorable. Over here, she has some toddler stuff. She has her toy box. This is also another piece that I'm going to be reviewing. And then she has a You Are My Sunshine with the dresser here. And she did. I was going to get her a computer, but she's not a child yet. So I'm like, I'll wait to get her a computer because I know the other Sims are going to keep coming in here just to use her computer. So I was like, I'm not going to do that yet. And then we have her high chair over here. She has a little bookshelf. And then this is her bathroom. Pretty yellow. Got a cute little cat mirror here. Her bathtub, which Crimson just used. And then her little potty. Now upstairs is the piece de la resistance. Okay. This room is Crimson's and Ellie's room. I am in love with this room. I mean, it's a little bit tight. I mean, not as tight as Carmine's room. Carmine's room is pretty small. So I, this is my favorite room in the entire house because it is just gorgeous. I mean, if I had a room like this, I would be set for life. This bed is just super regal and I, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I feel like the carpet also matches that as well. And then in here, they have a walk-in closet. I think is amazing. I love that. I love that it's open. So they don't got to open and close a door. Or your Sims don't get stuck, tr stuck trying to get in there. So that's another thing. And then this bathroom. Oh my gosh. Just the glass sliding doors. I love that. I absolutely love it. Oh, hold on one second. We're missing something. Okay, I had to jump into build mode real quick because the mirror from here was missing. I think I had another mirror here and it might have gotten deleted because it was definitely custom content. But anyways, so this bathroom is so cute to me. They got the tub here with the shower, got the his and her sink, and then the toilet over here. I think this is really nice. I just, my favorite part is definitely the glass sliding doors. It's just, it's, it's it for me. It's just it. And then over here we have... We just have like a little vanity where I guess Ellie would do her makeup and stuff like that. And I was going to add, I feel like I should add something here, but this room is just, it's a lot. This whole house is a lot. So I just, I left it like that. Just leave it, you know, a bit simple, which is fine. And yeah, that's the house. So anyways, now that I'm done rambling for this episode, I definitely want to get Crimson and Ellie married. So I am going to be working on that. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get them a wedding venue or not, or kind of just find somewhere to get married on the spot. I'm thinking we should do that instead. Like Crimson doesn't want the big hoopla. He kind of just wants to get it over with. Ooh, and our grades just came back. We got a D minus, B minus, B plus, and D plus. Our term GPA is a C, and then our GPA is a B minus, which isn't too bad. That's not too bad. I mean, I wish he would have done better, but I feel like the reason why Crimson didn't do too well is because of the stress of everything that, that has been going on. So much has been happening, plus he hasn't been focused He's been, you know, messing around and doing his little sneaky links. So maybe that kind of took a toll on him. 
a bit and, you know, messed with his grades. Okay, now they're asking, would I like to sign up for another term? I feel like he would do another term and maybe, maybe drop out, but we'll see. So for now, I'm just going to have him do another term with household funds. Yes. Okay, so hopefully we can get through this because, I mean, he has 7 out of 12. So maybe, hopefully, he can be done with this pretty soon. I know that if I do this, it's kind of going to jump him through the politician career, which I'm okay with. Let's see how many days he has left. Okay, he has 17 days until he's an adult, which is fine. I think he's moving at a pretty good pace anyways. Oh my god, not Spearman calling us from beyond the grave. Hey, I heard you became friends with Crimson Berry. He's pretty cool. Aww. What the heck is going on here? What? Unpleasant surroundings. Oh my god. Oh wait, there's no trash can. <laughs> I forgot to put a trash can so let me go ahead and do that really quick and then hop back into this okay so i got them a trash can really quickly so we can get rid of some of this stuff and i just realized um they also don't have a sink so let's get them a sink okay now we have a fully functioning kitchen we have our trash can and we have our sink i don't know why i missed those things but i guess i was just focused on on the bedrooms and stuff and i just completely missed those things but it's totally cool now i'm gonna get this girl the period remover because she is struggling with it so let's go ahead and remove that period for you girl <laughs> oh look at raspberry he's gonna sleep in his little bed this bed is so cute oh my gosh it's just a giant leaf and he's like blending in with it, but it's okay. His white collar is helping him kind of stick out a little bit so we can see that he's there. I'm debating whether or not I want to actually have Carmine move into her own place or stay with them because I love that she's taking care of Honey. So I don't know if I want her to move out or just have her stay to help raise Honey, but we'll see. We'll see down the line. Crimson is currently working on a presentation for one of his classes, but I'm actually waiting for Ellie to get home because I do want to kick off this wedding. I said I was going to do the wedding today, so I'm going to go ahead and do that once Ellie comes home from work. I did have Crimson actually do a debate and he won this time, which I'm so proud of him. He did win and I also had him level up in his research and debate skill. So he's now level five. Okay, we're just we're just gonna walk in circles. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, what's this? It says, uh-oh, dirty dishes are piling up and Ellie can't keep up. Ellie can either overload the dishwasher or give up and leave some dishes unwashed. Ooh. I mean, if you overload a dishwasher, your dishes are still going to come out dirty because there's not proper space in there for the water and the soap to get around. So leave dishes unwashed. OK, it says sometimes it's good to know your limits. Ellie leaving a few dishes unwashed isn't the end of the world. Nice. So she got a small performance gain. <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't make sense to overload the dishwasher because, as I said, it would still leave the dishes dirty. And better to have a few dishes clean than none of them. So, yeah, that made sense. Oh, Raspberry, you're so cute. <laughs> I love him. He is. He's adorable. So, yeah, I guess we're going to have. Oh, this is a nice view. This is nice. Oh, look at the little boat. Oh, this is adorable. I'm getting down with the push-ups. Okay. I wish I could build him a gym. But as I said, I don't know if I want to keep Carmine in the house or not. So if she does leave, I'm probably going to build the gym in her room. Um, because there's not enough space. What? Raspberry, are you serious? Why are you rolling in your own pee? Okay, let's lecture about playing in puddles and lecture about barking. 
Yeah, so I don't know if I want to keep Carmine in the house or have her move out to her own place. Depending on whether I have her move out or not, I might build a gym in the house. So I always have a gym in every house that I build. So definitely want to keep my Sims nice and fit and healthy. What are you? <sighs> now you're drinking out of a puddle? Raspberry. Don't start causing trouble now. Oh, yes. And Ellie's home. How's she feeling? Okay, she wants to have a little bit of fun. Also, uh, I don't... We'll, we'll see how things go. But I definitely want them to hit the altar. So I'm going to go into create a sim and make some outfits for them. And then I'll show you guys what their wedding outfits look like. And then we're going to go ahead and get this wedding started. I'm excited. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys really quickly what I did in here for their wedding attires. So this is Ellie's wedding attire. It's really simple, but I think it's really beautiful. I love her hair, this hair she has on. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely stunning. It looks amazing. She looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I look at the veil. Oh my goodness. She is gorgeous. And then for Crimson... I just went with a simple, you know, little suit. I had Mr. Fabulous in the same outfit, but with the mint green. I was thinking about making Ellie's dress red, but I'm like, nah, I just want her to go with the traditional white dress because I think it's it looks absolutely beautiful on her. So we're just going to go with the white dress. Okay, here we go. Wedding event. We're not going to put any goals because uh, we're not planning on having anything crazy, but we are going to invite Carmine and our BB girl because they need to be there we're not gonna hire anybody else and I already put down a venue so I'm just gonna I'm gonna just go ahead and try to find it here okay so here it is it is the wedding venue and this one is in this one is in Brindleton Bay so here we go okay so we are here I did not create this venue I just found it on the gallery and put it down because, as I said, it's not going to be anything crazy. And hold on. I got to fix their attires really quickly. So, yeah, this is a if you guys remember, I said this is, you know, on a whim. He's just like, let's just get married. We don't need to have a huge crowd of people. It's just us. But he's having doubts about I just realized there is no wedding arch in here. OK. Give me a second. Okay, so I put a wedding arch down. I don't know why there wasn't a wedding arch in here, but... Okay, let's have them come over here and just let's get married. Let's do this. Oh, my gosh. I want to see if it actually works, if I can actually stop him, like, leave her. Oh, my gosh, I feel nervous for him. Okay, hold on, hold on. Can we leave? I hope this works. If not, I'll just say that he left her at the altar, but like divorce her right away. Oh, yes. Okay, we can leave. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, call off the wedding. Call off the wedding. I can't do this. I can't do this. Oh. Yes, Crimson just called off the wedding. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, run, run, run. Leave, leave, leave. Oh my gosh. Girl, not Carmine going out for a swim in the middle of our quote unquote wedding. Oh my gosh. Can we have him run over here? Oh my gosh, Crimson, get out of there. Oh. Oh, yes. Hold on. Look at his face. He's so happy about it. I cannot. Oh, she's so upset. Oh, my gosh. Crimson. Look at him running. Oh, oh she is a furious. Left at the... Does it say left at the altar from getting left at the altar? Outraged for being left at the altar. Girl, I don't blame you. She's about to go for an angry swim. <laughs> she is PO'd. I mean, might as well end the wedding now because he just left her. 
Oh, look how cute Honey is, though. Oh, look at Honey. What do we do now? I don't know if I should kick Ellie out of the house or it's awkward now. And what is this? Why? Utterly enamored. Oh, my gosh. Crimson. He's all over the place. He's he's in love with her, but he doesn't want to be married to her. But he's happy he's not married. <laughs> like he just put Ellie through a roller coaster of emotions. This man is confused. He does not know what he wants. This is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna have them go home. That happened pretty quickly. <laughs> um, with no witnesses, but as I said, he kind of did it on a whim, like it is 12 o'clock at night. He was just like, let's go to this place. I know this venue. I know this person who can hook us up really quick. And, you know, we can just get married. Just just us, just the little family. And as soon as they got to the altar, he got cold feet and he's like, nope, I can't do this. So now things are just awkward. She's still in love with him. Aw. She still loves him. I mean, she's infuriated, but she loves him. And I feel like he loves her too. That's the thing. He loves her, but maybe he's just not ready for marriage right now. Maybe this isn't the time to do this. I mean, he is trying to get through university and then also trying to get into the politician career so maybe once he settles down they can revisit the discussion of marriage but right now it's just it's not the time for him oh my god he's so tired wait wait a minute wait a minute what what does this say dodged a bullet from getting cold feet just narrowly avoided a very serious relationship <laughs> He's confident about that. I told you guys, he's happy about it. He's just like, nope, I'm not getting married. I'm not ready for marriage. Sheesh. Wow, dodged a bullet. Crimson, you are a douche. All right, so things are pretty awkward in the house now. So I'm thinking maybe I might have Ellie sleeping in Honey's room because... I don't think they would want to sleep next to each other. So I'm going to unlock this door and then lock for everyone but Crimson. And oh, look, see, Ellie's already Ellie's already in Honey's bed. So it's funny that I said that I even realized she was laying in her bed. But yeah, I think she's going to sleep in here for now. Because she just... She doesn't want to sleep next to Crimson. She's so upset with him. And she's still staying here, though. She does love him. You guys saw she still felt enamored. Girl, don't don't smash the dollhouse. Just go to sleep or something. So that is crazy. I feel so bad for her. And Crimson is so happy about it. Like, I can't with him. Oh, look at Honey. She's so cute. Honey just takes away from all of that. All the horrible stuff because she's so adorable. <laughs> she's adorbs. Look at her. And Karma is just like, huh? Minding her business. She doesn't feel any ways about anything that happened. Oh, now he wants to be a daddy and put Honey to bed. Mm -mm. What? Karma is going through a phase. She's having a bit of a mean streak and feels like being more nasty with other Sims. <sighs> this house is a mess. A complete and utter mess. And now he's gonna try to sleep in he's gonna try to sleep next to Ellie. You better not. After everything you did. What oh my gosh, Raspberry, are you serious? He is acting up too. This whole house is upside down. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Finally, Crimson did get married. I completely forgot about the inheritance. I don't think we got married in time. And also, I don't know if because he called off the wedding that he couldn't get the inheritance. But I did have that in mind. So he, I didn't receive any notifications about it. But that's neither here nor there. That checks off one of the goals we had to accomplish for the Rose Generation. We did have to leave somebody at the altar. That was part of one of the rules for the generation and that is finally complete all that's left to do is have him master the charisma skill which we are at level seven and he also has to complete his aspiration which i will have him go on a few dates on the next 
in the next episode. So I'm going to have him kind of like single and mingle a little bit, you know, go on a few dates since him and Ellie are kind of in the dumps right now. And then after that, we have to complete the politician career, which he hasn't entered yet. But because of his university work, I'm pretty sure it's going to jumpstart us off at a high level in the career. So hopefully we're able to complete that by the time he gets into his adult years, which for me, I feel like the best thing is for him to make sure he completes it by the time he becomes an elder. So we have we have a little bit of time because he's not going to age up into adult for another 17 days and then he's going to be adult an adult for a little bit so i'm not too worried about his politician career because everything else is being completed right now so we'll focus on that down the line but yeah let me know what you guys think about what happened what do you think about crimson leaving ellie at the altar do you think he made the right decision i mean he was really happy about it he was confident and he was just happy, but he still felt like he was in love with Ellie. I thought that maybe if he left Ellie at the altar, he might not f have feelings for her. But it turns out that he's still in love with her. And Ellie still loves him, but she's just really upset that he left her at the altar. So what do you guys think? Do you think that this relationship can be rekindled? Or do you think that this is the end for Ellie and Crimson? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you are enjoying the series. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!